Once again, Alberto González, uh, OMAS representative uh, for North America. The truth of the matter is that with kind of uh, Volano slicers, what we're looking is for paper thin. We don't care about thickness, okay? Obviously, you can go as much as 20 millimeters or 25 millimeters thick, depending on the model, but at the end of the day, what we care is about how thin it can cut, okay? Now, the term that we use is paper thin. For a sharp cuttery piece, such as prosciutto, the thinner, the better. So we usually say paper thin because that's on, only uh, almost translucent, okay? And that's when the thickness of the prosciutto is the best, so you can get the best of the flavor out of it. The rule of thumb when you are going to sharpen a blade is just exactly what happens when you know that you need to sharpen a knife. When you are not cutting exactly or the blade is not cutting exactly the way you want it, okay? So the first thing to do before you are going to start sharpening the blade, you need to clean the blade. You don't want fat residues to get into the sharpening stones. If that happens, you are reducing the life of the sharpening stones. So you need to clean the, the blade first and then afterwards you are going to do the sharpening process. This machine, anyone can be used, can use this machine. Obviously it has to be an adult uh, for safety reasons, but it's very ergonomic. All the components of the machine are extremely ergonomic in a way that it's easier for any kind of person to operate the machine. These machines uh, are made in Italy, are made of uh, stainless steel, aluminum, some models they are made of cast iron, but basically all these components are long-term resistant and certainly uh, are sturdy enough and robust enough for a long, long use. Thank you.